So this is the DPS chair I'm gonna get and build it and to see how long it's gonna take me to build this chair. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I wanna build the, um, the chair, the gaming chair that I got from Casco, which is DPS, which stands for Damage Per Second. So it's very interesting where they name it as DPS, as I mean once I build it, when I sit on it, the more second I sit on, the more damage the chair will be. <laughs> yeah, just a joke, it's just a gaming. Come with three different color, you can choose this version, which is all black. That's a blue version on the outliner. And then there's also a green one. So this one, you can adjust the head, the arm, and the height. Uh, downside is this one, you cannot have the neck west there. So, but for this price, I guess you cannot complain much, right? So let's give it a try and see how comfortable they are. I'm gonna start building now. So that's it for all the parts here. It's so hard to get it in, so I'm gonna try to use hammer. They didn't, on the instruction, they didn't tell you to use a hammer, just like pop it in. There you go. Got the wall that finally to work. Alright, so it, this chair took me 25 minutes to build, so I think it could be faster um, if the instruction A more clear using a hammer to put the roll inside. That took me a little bit while. But other than that, the rest of the building is very easy. If you look at it, it's very simple. So now let me try sit on it. It's very smooth rolling first. They have a good number of support according to the thing. It's very soft sitting on it. Yeah, and at the head, you can press the button here to adjust. Up and down, and lock it, and then open it. Hmm, looks like there's no lock button. 
So it's pretty much lift up and down. Yeah, and this number will move it here, the number, based on how your bat is leaning back. So I think this is kind of symbol number support. And your chair can tilt it here. Lift it up and down. Can I do it in the middle? Yes, you can lift in the middle. It doesn't have to be all the way high or all the way down. And then now you can lean back. Let's see the buttons. There's two buttons. What this does? Oh, this lean back. So the button on my left, you can lean back. So let me see if I... Now this is locked, cannot lean back, okay? And this one will be... Oh, make the chair higher. And ooh, we're sliding down. So this is the higher I can get, which my feet will not touch on the floor, a little bit, touching a little bit. Yeah, again, this is a um, $160 DPS chair, gaming chair from Costco. Uh, there's no company with this price. The only downside is missing is the, the uh, footrest. The new days, the footrest, you can have something here and put your feet here while maybe taking a lap and stuff like that. Yeah, the leaning back style is very tight. You're feeling you're falling, but you're not. You're actually leaning back the chair. So this is a very simple gaming chair, which is good. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next video.